Welcome to Sheni Vachamishi. How is it that Rabbi Sachs, chief rabbi of Great Britain, got a yid, an atheist Jew, across the world to make a minion and wake up at 4.30 to be at the Chabad at 5.30? Not only that, but he arranges the minion. He calls a couple of people who work in the area and he tells them, come, let's meet, and he meets, and they make a, a minion that doesn't happen every day. So Rabbi Sachs is speaking at a, at a, at a group, and that's the emperor's garden, just want to mention, that private, private tea houses, it's emperor's garden, it's open to the public, and that's the Tokyo Bay. So Rabbi Sachs speaking on Pesach to a group of people, and one guy says, look, Rabbi, what's, what do we need religion for? And uh, if you speak of faith, faith in what? Faith in, 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 in what a wingnut tells you or faith in something evidence-based, something practical, something rational. So Rabbi Sachs tells a story how he went to meet the Lubavitcher Rebbe. He came for a meeting. They said, not, not now. He said, if the, I would like to wait. Let me know. I'll be in California. He takes a Greyhound bus. He gets on a Greyhound across the country from Beverly Hills, California to Crown Heights to meet the Rebbe. So the Yid thinks, look, if Rabbi Sachs could take a bus across the country, I could take an Uber for 25 minutes, and I can make a few phone calls, and I can do something. And as Yeshua Y said, we have too much of a cushion. Look at a rabbi. Look at the story. We fuss about stupid little things, but by the end of the day, there are people out there that inspire us. Someone can take, so Yeshua Y says, someone takes a greyhound across the country. We have too much of a cushion. Yeshua is a prophet. He's a prophet and a poet and an artist all in one, and this is what we need. L'chaim, and thank you for watching Shane Vachamishi, and thank you, Rabbi Sachs. That was very inspiring. It was inspiring to someone who doesn't easily get inspired. Thank you.